That's so cool. Your proceeds acquire school day two. Our music minister is a fellow by the name of Scott Dyer. He is wonderful with children. He is full-time uh, a music teacher in the neighboring area in Rockport. Uh, and so when he came to me, when we talked at our very, very first meeting back in January, uh, he said, you know, I do this choir camp, choir school thing. And I said, fantastic, let's do this. Let's bring in local people. Let's figure out how our own children can, can work with them. Uh, because this is, a, this is a gift that Anglicanism has for the world. Uh, we have a long, long tradition that is choral, that's musical. We love it. Uh, it is deep in our soul, but it's not everywhere. Last summer I started a, uh, a little camp for music and I gave some instruction for a couple hours a day. I wasn't really tied necessarily to sacred music. This year we decided we would take a different bent and expand it greatly thanks to Lael Sorensen, uh, who is our new rector here at St. Peter's. We're really glad she's here. She and I work very well together and we decided that perhaps I could develop something that was much more intensive. Children love to learn to sing and it's important that they learn to read music. I don't know if you've seen it, but we have a playground right out here. <laughs> and one of the great joys of this past week is as the choir school children go out uh, to play, the other children there see them. Uh, and I've been waiting. I bet you by Friday the other kids are going to learn some of these songs because as our kids go out, they go out singing uh, and joyful. And that's, that's infectious and that's great. And choir school is really that English tradition of, of teaching kids to read music. So instead of just repertoire, we're really working on skills for when you pick up a piece of music, I can look at this and know what's going on. And we practice the singing uh, just for the joy of singing. See you later, alligator. St. Peter's Parish really wants to see children um, making a mess of their uh, parish hall and the undercroft and the chapel. And we certainly have done that for the week. And we've also made a connection with the community because people are looking outside our doors and they're out on the playground looking and saying, what are these kids doing? And as we walked downtown yesterday, we happened to take a little field trip and we stopped on the streets a couple times and sang a couple songs and people wanted to know more about us. We're right here uh, with doors open, ready to reach out to people wherever they are and see if um, we can bring music into their lives in a meaningful way. So let us go forth rejoicing in the Lord to love and learn to sing. Amen. Amen.